Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your October 2020 love reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please do know that it will be a general reading, so not all the information or energies will resonate with everybody out there. Please take what does, leave behind what does not. Check your other planetary placements for additional messages. If you're unsure of what your other placements would be, there is a natal calculator link in the description box down below to all of my Sagittarius subscribers I want to give a great big shout out and thank you for all your likes share support donations bookings without you none of this would be possible so thank you I'm sending you out a wave of positivity love and light thank you Sagittarius for if you're new to the channel welcome Glad to have you here. Please consider hitting that like button on the way out. And if you are looking for something tailored to your specific situation, information on how to obtain a private reading is all in the description box down below. All right, Sagittarius, we are going to be drawing some oracle cards today to get started. A one romance angel, and then we'll get into the tarot and look at past, present, future energies for you, the person you're most connecting with, and the shared energy between you. Sagittarius, October 2020, love and romantic relationships, most important message, guidance, advice from the group. All right. Sagittarius, you are getting the card for compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on love and light that is within everyone. Beautiful. This is about learning to love yourself, not be so hard on yourself. So, and then just as it says, release judgment this time. Come from a place and approach with compassion for all things at this time. All right, and we're getting engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some of you, you may be getting engaged. For others of you, this is coming into partnership. This is moving in together, solidifying your relationship in some aspect or some form. Just one moment, please. All right, I completely forgot to kill the air conditioner before I started this reading. So hopefully, you guys were all able to hear everything up to this point. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot. Let's take a look at past, present, future energies, shared energies between Sagittarius and their person. Please show me precisely clear, the clarity, most important messages that Sagittarius sun, moon, rising Venus first needs to hear for October 2020 in the area of love and romance. Past, present, future energies, shared energies between Sagittarius and their person. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign. We have the King of Swords and your card, Sag, with the Temperance popping out there. Past position, you're coming through with the Ace of Cups. The person is coming through with the Three of Swords. The shared energy between you is the Sun. Your current energy is the Strength. They are coming through with the Nine of Cups. Shared energy between you is the Queen of Pentacles. Future energy, you're coming through with the Four of Swords. They are coming through with the Page of Wands. Shared energy between you is the Eight of Swords. Overall energy of this reading is the Ace of Pentacles. And the hidden subconscious energy is the Six of Pentacles. Very interesting energies. Bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. All right, so a shakeup is coming. Here's a little bit of clarity. So I see there was an, a beginning, an offer, the opportunity 
for love for you, Sagittarius, in the distant past. Now, this could be you filling that cup up with self-love and value and admiration. This could also be you offering your cup to someone. Your person is coming through with the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, pain, betrayal in and around the heart space. Shared energy between you is the Sun, Leo energy. But this is absolutely the positive, most positive, happy card in the tarot. So there was happiness between the two of you that you shared together. And there was that potential. All right. So let's see what's going on. What is this Ace of Cups for Sagittarius? Please show me clearly and precisely. All right, so we're getting the Three of Cups there. Somebody may have offered you their cup. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody will either you were extending an offer to somebody wanting to recon reconciliate or Somebody brought forth an apology, love offer, love messages going back and forth between you and somebody else, which you've seen as very positive, very happy. This made you very, very happy. Um, for others of you, this was about reconciliation. Possibly, again, with an air sign doesn't have to be, but I feel like you have wisdom, the knowledge to proceed forward, or this was maybe something that you had in mind that you wanted to, to expand. But I do see the page of wands here. So there was definitely passionate communication taking place. All right. What is this three of swords energy for my beautiful Sagittarius, please, person? What is this three of swords energy for Sagittarius, this person? Okay. So they are trying to heal from heartbreak and pain. I feel like they wanted to reconcile. But there was something that they had to complete first. And I also get a sense that they are, there was something that they didn't trust. So, Sag, for some of you, this could very well have been you making an offer to somebody who was not in the position to be able to accept your offer at this time. Because they were trying to heal from past break, heartbreak and pain. And to they wanted to they were they had victory in mind. Um, for some of you, they wanted to rec reconcile the differences. But there's something they had to wrap up first here. What is the sun? Shared energy. Okay. So we get the knight of wands, the seven of cups, and the queen of cups. Taurus at the bottom of the deck with the higher font. So, Sad, you're showing up here on the Knight of Wands. So this is wanting to take passionate, ac passionate action, forward movement. Uh, I do feel like on the on the uh, on the main level of everything, there was this joy and this positivity and this happiness that both of you are feeling here. I believe that you both think that you're going to make each other happy. But there was a lot of emotional overwhelm or confusion or somebody here had multiple options and choices. With the Queen of Cups, you could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Don't have to be, but this tells me that there was definitely love in the situation. Some of you, someone here could have also been in a previous commitment or was coming out of one. Could be what, what they were trying to heal from. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now, Sagittarius, with the strength card is you are in the process of needing to realize or having realized that you are stronger than what you think you are. And that is the biggest message that comes with the strength card. It's also about being in control of your thoughts, your emotions, your environment internally and externally. It's having the wisdom and the knowledge to know when to show your emotions and when to refrain, when to exert your strength. And when to withhold it. So what is the strength card? Some of you may be dealing with Leo as well. We're getting the magician. Hmm. All right. Coming through with the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like you're trying to manifest 
a brand new beginning here with this with this empress something that you can cultivate and grow and nourish a spark of creativity a spark of passion something new to focus your energy on <clears throat> underneath the surface sag i feel like you are a bit blocked off because you have the three of swords here heartbreak pain betrayal when it comes to love so i feel like there's something underneath where you are wounded and you are kind of holding that back possibly not even acknowledging it to yourself and you and i feel like this is a situation and it's not going to apply to all of my sages out there but some of you are just trying to like divert your attention away from this what what's inside what hurts and not look at it but unfortunately if you don't look at it now the tower is going to make you look at it anyway all right, so what is this Nine of Cups for Sagittarius' person, please? Show me clearly. Mm. Okay, they're getting the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, and the Knight of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so with the Nine of Cups, this is talking about wish fulfillment, as a lot of you know. But the Nine of Cups represents more than just wish fulfillment on a on a whole new level, and it's about really about self love, realizing your self worth. It's, it's a much like the Nine of Pentacles, of standing in your own power, but this power being loving yourself, realizing your worth you know being okay being solid having your support system around you just being in a place of pure happiness from within it's finding that happiness within and i feel like your person is overcoming obstacles and challenges at this time with the chariot they're looking at moving forward some of you again this could be a cancer that you're dealing with or could have somebody here could have cancer in their chart but I feel like this person wants to move forward very quickly. You know, I have two cards of fast movement. There is something that they want to come in and take action and say. Some knowledge that they want to impart. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Shared energy between my Sagittarius and their person. Okay, so we are getting the Devil Capricorn Energy, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like both of you can see each other as a life partner. However, there is other elements at play here. I see toxicity. And whichever form, there is a large collective here, so it's going to be different for, for each of you. The devil in its traditional form represents addiction, overindulgence, obsession, self-posed limitations, codependency, gambling, need for moderation, toxic patterns and behaviors in relationships and in actions. I can tell that both of you are not happy where you currently are at. There is a sense of boredom and dissatisfaction. Even I feel a bit of rejection and I feel a sting of rejection. And I feel like this is kind of maybe where some of my Sagittarius's are coming into play is feeling really like this person rejected you. And that's not necessarily true for all of you because this person was trying to heal when you came in with this offer but there is messages or the want to communicate lovingly maybe even offer apologies here but somebody has been quite deceptive in their actions and somebody's blocking or both of you are kind of blocking yourselves off blocking your heart spaces off now to each other what is this for Swords coming in. Future energy for my Sagittarius, please. All right. Thank you. 
there's the tower. All right, so I feel like you're trying to heal or maybe for some of you, you've taken a step back to contemplate what your next best move is. I see some type of communication coming in that is going to bring a tower moment with it. But this tower moment is going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles, that abundance, that security. It's going to take what was hidden and bring it into the light. And I feel like this has been a long time coming, Sag. So you have the Page of Wands here, and this person, your person has the Page of Wands over here. And I'm going to drop this down just a little bit. There we go. So let's see what they're communicating, because I'm seeing that they're communicating to you in the future. So what is your person communicating? Mm. <laughs> One more. <laughs> They're ready for the reciprocity. They're ready to bring balance to this relationship. They're communicating that they want, they're wanting a fresh start, a new beginning, wanting to move things forward, or they have the intention set to do so. Could be a fire sign, a Leo, another Sagittarius or an Aries, but they want to start a new cycle. They want to end whatever they've been in, whatever situation has been transpiring up to this point and begin a fresh and a new. Now, you both have the Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, stuck in your head. So what is this Eight of Swords? Shared energy between my Sagittarius and their person. What is this Eight of Swords? Yeah. All right, so both of you are feeling stuck like in your heads that this is not going to happen. Both of you are blocking off your heart space. Both of you want, are wanting to bring an offer. But I feel like you're going to, but at this point, I feel like you guys are going to emotionally just kind of upend this and walk away. Whereas if somebody would take the lead and bring us into balance... You may be able to come together and ascend this relationship to a higher level. The opportunity is there. It's there. That is the, you know, the overall energy of this reading is there is an opportunity to bring this together for it to be balanced and fair and equal. But something has to come down. Something has to be exposed first. And that's what's going to come in in the future. All right, Sagittarius, please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If it did not, please do not worry. Check your other planetary placements. Or you could always wait until I release my additional love readings this month. I will be doing one, as I usually do, for my Sagittarius singles. I will be doing one for Sagittarius in, in partnership or in union for my Sagittarius couples. And I'm going to be doing a Your Ex reading for those of you in separation or in inquiring about reconciling with an ex. All right. So, again, if this did not resonate, please check your other signs or wait for those other readings. Please hit that like and share button. Subscribe on your way out. Don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I release those readings. And last but not least, remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.